This one is going to be pretty exciting. We have percentage parser. So they give this regex. I, I, I don't want to read a regex. Do you want to read a regex? It's a little like out of my wheelhouse personally. So let's just take a look at the description. The structure should be plus or minus. That's the first thing. And then number and then unit. So we return a tuple that has those three things in it. The first is the sign. The second is the value. And the third is the unit. So let's just look here. Uh, we could have percent. We could have uh, unit is a weird word, I guess, because it's not like it's like centimeters and inches or something. But all the same, <clears throat> percent side or not, and but the number is in the middle. Does that make sense? That's how those yeah. are. So let's go. Let's go here. So like here. Here's a great example. We are passing in negative one zero zero and then percent sign. And we're expecting to get back a tuple. The first item is the negative sign. The second item is the hundred, and the third the third part is the percentage. If there's a plus, if it's positive, we don't put a plus, and if there's no percent sign, we don't do anything. So, we could probably. Um, where would you start? What do you, what do you think we? Where would you go with this? I think if you go if you go to a three, if there's a plus, it does put a plus. But if there's nothing. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. T, it, yep. Okay, fair point. Um, I missed that one. T extends string. So we're going to start there for sure. Where would you where yeah, would you head off so with good. this? Um, because we know that the first character is either a plus or a minus, um, we can just put it uh, as a discriminate union. Um, mm -hmm. I, I promise I can type. Here we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> almost. Um, and then the second part is just a number. Mm -hmm. And then the third part is a uh, anything. Actually, uh, mm -hmm. unit could be anything. They don't. They say percentage, but it could be anything, right? Right. So I'm um, going to give you a. This can also be not existing. Yes. So. This uh, gets this gets really tricky. Personally, when I did this one, I got really stuck on like how to structure this. And when I saw, I'm gonna give you kind of like a hint. Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll keep this. I'm gonna comment this, and we'll we'll keep it on the side. We know that we're gonna be returning uh, a tuple, so we can just do that right out of the gate. Um, so we can create these three functions and pass in the uh, same. I see it. Isn't that like that's a differently. exactly like a more elegant way to solve it? Um, here, I'll it's give like you. It's like creating functions where each function is responsible for one thing at a time. Yeah, yeah, single responsibility. Hell yeah! So, yeah. Um, I guess I could I could do this. Wait a second. Can I do this with a multi cursor? Let's see. Multi cursor, huh? There, there. Woo. Okay. Nice. So. If we implement these things separately, then I think it'll just be easier to see. And then, of course, we can look at our examples as we go and see like how we're doing. So then we can come. Yeah. So like, let's start on the sign, right? Um, like you were. Yep. T expand. I'm just gonna copy paste. So I have to type again. Oh dear. I'll kind of block these other ones in. Um, here we go. We can do this. Cool. Um. T, okay. So, uh huh. You have to do, like, do you have to do another extends check in here? Yes. Yep. So like maybe sign uh, inf is it infer sign extends that. Ooh, that's interesting. And then you return, return sign, sign otherwise. Return. Otherwise nothing. Otherwise nothing. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's check it. So like we can check it right now actually. So the f it, it's nothing for a ten and nothing for a eleven, nothing for a twelve. Let's find the one that actually has a sign though. Here, here we go. Yeah, it works. Let's go to the plus one. It works. Yeah, great. That's awesome. None of the examples. I'm going to show some examples in, in the end that I found that uh, kind of figure that out uh, or figure out how to do this. And none of them, none of them use that. That's really cool that you picked that up. 
Sweet. <laughs> and and this <laughs> part is showing it. TypeScript is showing us that it's unused. Uh, in for tail, we can just put right. string there. Doesn't doesn't do anything anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I th I think I did the infer to be like, hey, just capture everything. Capture it. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's a string. The string just captures what's remaining, and this captures the first, the first character part. or whatever is in this union. Definitely. Um, okay. Cool. So now we grab the number. Um, what if we do? Can we do parse percent next? Okay. Yeah. So pass percent, we just want to grab the tail. It, c it can just be string, and then we're, I guess we're making an assumption here that the unit is always a sing one character. Yeah. Um, Which you, I think you might be able to do one, the same thing that you just did. Like I think you might be able to say like. You have to do this. <laughs> Do you but, think this would work? Uh, okay, I guess only percent. I guess it will work, yeah, only for wherever it is. I have a keyboard with no letters on it. <laughs> okay, let's um, check it. Uh, yeah. A10. Yeah, it works for A10, A11, nothing. Yeah, 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 it's working. I, what did they, I think we spent, uh, would we pass in an empty string, right, if it's false? So. Yeah, like this one here. Yeah. yeah, 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 okay, perfect. Like the A, uh, A12, yeah. All right, now um, we just got this last part, so. This one, I guess you can't do the num. You can't do what I was doing here, number, because it's a string. Mm -hmm. you can't detect the number, um, but we have to. Oh, this is going to be new to this, mm -hmm. and then string, and then pass the same. Yes. Oh, and then this needs to be um, this needs to be in the number or just num. Boom! You got it. There you go. Yeah, and and all of them go pack like all of them fit through that in some way because we don't have tests that put like nonsense in there. But I guess we would return. I don't know yeah. empty string. I don't know what we we should return there in the. Yeah, there's definitely. Um, it's interesting because they. They, well, it's called pass percent, so I guess we should know that it's only for percentages, but they mentioned unit, and a unit could be multiple characters, so you'd have to, I guess you'd have a unit if you have like centimeters. And mm -hmm. see yeah, yeah, there. yeah. Um, but I like, I quite like this approach. That was a nice little hint to do the pass percent first, because then we can just use that here. Uh huh. Um, Isn't that something? I personally, no us, yeah. I personally really struggled with this one when I did it the first time by myself. <laughs> For one reason is that you get into yeah. a mode of just starting with like T extends something at the beginning of all these, and that's not how this one goes. So yeah, yeah. it was it was interesting. I'll show you some other alternatives. Yeah. All right, here let's check. Let's rename this one to get it out of the way. So here's an alternative. Um, yep, it passes all the tests. So this person did something a little different. They like. I don't even, I'm, I, I looked at this for a long time and I'm, I'm not sure I totally understand it, but here's my interpretation. You tell me what you think. They're passing in this generic and then inferring the sign from that. Because this is kind of like an exclude. It takes, uh, it takes some union of these two things, the plus and the minus, and if it's there, it'll return them. Otherwise, it'll return never. So I didn't know that you can infer inside of a generic. Well, this is, it'll operate on, it'll operate, it's like brackets, right? Mm -hmm. it'll, or parentheses, it'll, it'll operate on this first and then it'll go to go do this. So because it's just infer sign of T, it's just going to grab the first character, mm -hmm. send that first character into check prefix, which either returns that prefix or returns nothing. Right. But what's cool about it is the, the sign I don't know if, if, if it's something, then it'll get in here. Uh, I'm sorry, if it's something, it'll get into this place where it'll be passed along. Otherwise, yeah. it will just be an empty string. And then we do the same kind of pattern in reverse for this Chuck suffix, um, <laughs> passing in rest in the yeah. truth case of the ternary, but just passing in T because there was nothing else to pass. So it's kind of like, because we know that it's at the beginning and there was nothing else to pass, we can get away with passing T. Then inside yeah. of Chuck suffix, it returns a tuple that either has the percentage 
if there is a percentage sign at the end or it has an empty string. It, it's yeah. it's convoluted, gonna, but it's. I'm going to step by. Yeah, it's well, it's convoluted for a few reasons. I think there's like um, you've got this uh, array. Oh, what's the, what's mm -hmm. the term for ex, expand? Um, where like the the final output is produced by this, and then the the result of this. Mm -hmm. um, but then I think there's also. I'm going to stand by our solution. I think yeah, our solution I, is a lot more I, I thought this was like extended. kind of wild. I mean, most of the answers that are on there, um, up online, use this solution like we had, and I think this yeah. is re extremely readable. It's pretty easy to understand yeah. once you see the solution. There is one more that I wanted to show, which is, uh, this is a nope. We haven't had too many of these, but this doesn't work, and I, I thought it would be interesting to show why it doesn't work. Um, parser, um, do I have to change these as well? Yeah. Parse percent, okay. Let's just, I'm just going to delete everything Let's above here. Um, so, what this nope uh, I'm calling it a nope. Let's take a look. So it's saying T extends and then grabbing a head and a tail. So the head will probably be like the sign. And then it's looking at this number union. Number union is all of these things. And w just looking up here, where this fails is this one. So if we look at parse percent, we see that the very first thing it returns is, is the percent sign, right? Uh, okay. That's This is why. It's because it's grabbing that value and going into this situation. So if you imagine T being just that just the percent sign, like nothing else, as in the example of A10, what's going to happen here is it will course through head. It'll match because it is a, it is the first character of a string. And then we ask, does it extend number union? Well, no, it doesn't extend number union. So then we get into this case where we insert head the thing we inferred, which is a percent sign there in the beginning, which is wrong. Yeah. And then, and then you're doing, then you're trying to pass the set tail, but tail doesn't exist because it's a single character. Yes. Yeah. Tail is nothing. So we pass in parse percent here. It can't infer anything. So then we get to this case, T is an empty string. And then the, the last part is an empty string. So dot, 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 empty string, empty string. And if we look at A10, we see that's what we, uh, sorry, here we are, A10. We see that's what we get. Yeah. We get the percent sign and then empty string, empty string. So yeah. it's it's a good attempt and it's it would have gotten if you know if this were solved it would have gotten along the lines of the one that we were just looking at the second one that we didn't we both didn't like but I thought it was an interesting example of like sometimes it can be very hard to go through these things and debug them and that's that's why it's nice to have tests to see kind of like what happens yeah. cuz all the rest of them pass notice that the rest of yeah. the rest of them work so it's pretty well, close. I guess, I guess this is also this this works for sensible inputs, but when you're trying to pass a string, you don't always have sensible inputs. Yeah, so. totally. Perfect. <laughs> so I mean, I yeah, it's it's a good solution, um, assuming you have sensible inputs. <laughs> right. Right. Cool.